Even with all this stuff here, there's a bunch of super cheap plugins that I use all the time. Sometimes price really doesn't matter. Or better, there are some companies out there that make super affordable stuff that sounds great. My most used cheap plugins 2021. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixpass TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, discounts and offers, and all the links to the plugins that are gonna see today. And if you wanna support the channel, but most important, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button, become a Mixpass TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses, special videos, special giveaways, and you also get mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. And if you missed the biggest event of the year on the channel. Remix contest for my artist Bella Kelly Heartbreak Motel is up and running with $30,000 in prizes between plugins and hardware. And you win a Waves Sibilance plugin just to enter the contest. All the links are gonna be down below. Let's get to the video. All right, like the others, this wants to be a rapid fire list. Let's start to a gem of a plugin that I've been using since I don't even remember when. And it is Tone Booster Real Bus. This is one of the coolest tape emulator plugins out there. It's got a ton of features, it sounds great. The updater GUI is slick, it's resizable, you can change colors on it, really, really cool. You have four modes in this, master bus, sand effects, insert effects, and recorder. The master bus, of course, is the more subtle one. You have few controls here on the GUI. Hysteresis, wow and flutter, record level, compression, and noise. Even just like that in default settings without compression, pushing the record level a little bit, you hear how nice and warm and rich the material gets. And if you want to tweak more, you change from master bus to recorder and you have all these controls here that are super, super cool. You have a slider for the saturation, which is super nice. And you have different kinds of saturation, including the old Ferox, which was what I was using like years ago. You have hysteresis, compression, spectrum, while I'm flat and wear, hiss, asperity. It's a really comprehensive and tweakable tape emulator, but everything is right here on the front panel. You have a tab for drive. Which is a really, really cool way to, to tame harsh material instead of using EQ or dynamic EQ. You can hear if I push the drive, the drive saturates that range and it makes it softer. All right, and you can use it, use it as an effect in insert or send return, and you have flanger. And echoes, of course, not for an entire mix. So, uh, Tone Booster Real Bus, this is the first one, and it's just $25. Let's get to the next one. The next one is cheating, because it's basically everything, every single plugin that Tokyo Dome Lab makes. Uh, now, they are free. So there's a free version for all of them. Let me try to open all of them here. Kotelnikov, I still have the free version of this one, but all of them have the Gentleman Edition and it's just $50 and it's absolutely worth it. You can download them all for free and I still have few free ones like the Kotelnikov one, but Kotelnikov Compressor, Sleek EQ Mastering Edition, Limiter Number 6, a staple on my mastering and also on single tracks. The clipper is amazing. The multiband limiter is amazing. Nova, one of my favorite dynamic EQs with the smart ops. You've seen me using this one many, many times in basically every mix I do. The gentleman editions of all Tokyo Don't Lab plugin are only $50 and they are absolutely worth it. Next one, I was the first one to show this compressor on YouTube, the Clangle MJUC. It's still right there at the top with these three modes. 
this is, if you're not familiar with this and it's the first time you see it, is uh, basically three different Varium compressor emulated from actual units. They sound absolutely amazing. I have a dedicated review video on this one. You've seen me using this one again on female vocals all the time or even male vocals. It's great on bass. It's great on so many things because actually the MK3 gives you full control, attack and release, punch slider that really helps on drums. It's really, really cool. You can also use it just as a saturator with the drive clean and driven. You can see this knob here. You can change you can change the overall tone of every track just by turning the timer knob dark or hi-fi. It's an absolutely amazing compressor. Everyone should have it. And it's only $25. Again, unbelievable. Same for SDRR, which is the saturator. I recently started reusing this one. I was like, why I forgot? Because probably I have too much stuff. But <laughs> you have four modes. You have two DG fuzz, which is great when in gated mode for special effects. I use it on vocals and bass for the crackling gated effects is absolutely great. And the desk, the more subtle, but it's a great saturator for individual tracks. You could even put it on every track if you want or groups and two bus. And believe it or not, the DG, while it's digital and maybe some people prefer the others because they're more analog-like, is one of the most transparent enhancers that are out there. Just because it's so clean, it never gets crunchy and it just adds more richness to the material. Anyway, an absolutely must-have for $25 Klangelm SDRR. Let's get to the next one. Standard Clip Sear Audio Tools, another $25 plugin that is pretty mind-blowing. This is a saturator. The new one has four different modes. Soft Clip Classic, which is, I gotta say, still my favorite most of the time. Soft Clip Pro, Hard Clip, and Ratio 2.1. This might not be as straightforward to use as other clippers, but it's definitely worth learning. Uh, my way to use it usually because I don't want the raising level is to first down the clip. And you gain a bunch of headroom for your drums, for your percussive material in a very, very transparent way. You have oversampling on this one. You have an assistant to auto compensate for the output. It's a really cool plugin, $25. All the clips are react differently to the material. So you never know which one is gonna be the best for a given day. So in my opinion, it's a good idea to have a pretty big collection of clippers because you never know which one. And this one, $25. Let's get to the next one. Cadsrock True Dynamic with these three types of vintage compressor right now in sale. Otherwise, it's only $49 and it's an amazing colored compressor. And also True Iron, we've seen this before. This is again below $50 right now. They are on sale. You should definitely grab it. Cadsrock True Iron is another one of those plugins that helps you with density, with clarity, adding richness to the material. It has a lot of different voicing for the type of saturation. You can use it like this. It's very subtle, very natural. You can add a crush. With these exaggerated settings, you can hear the voicings and how they react, especially to the low end is very different. So these two and everything Kazrock made is like under $50. We have K-Clip 3, definitely grab them. Next one, Xenoverb Audiority. I could have picked any Audiority plugin because I love them and they are very, very cheap. Uh, abuser, I don't even know in how many videos I <laughs> throw that one in and two modulators. So I wanted something different for this because I have this reverb from them and it's spectacular. It's based 
on a very famous pedal, guitar pedal, but it has a lot more functions and it's really fun to use with the freeze and the limiter functions, especially on vocals to create long reverb throws. It's really cool. Just a quick test here. To me, it sounds very unique, I love it. And aside from the regular room hall plate, it has some really cool algorithm like flow. And shimmer. Not what you would use for drum, but just to show you. Again, it's $45 in full price, but they have a sale going on right now. And so for the other Audiority plugins. Next one is Newfangled Saturate. Another saturator, you know, I love this kind of plugins. This, we can call it a high-end saturator with their detailed preservation slide. And it's super simple to use as many clippers, but it sounds great. And again, it reacts differently than other clippers. Sometimes it works better on bass heavy music, sometimes some other winds, but with clippers, you really never know. This one is just three sliders. It's spectacular sounding and it's only $49. And I thought this plugin was more expensive for some reason, but it's a great, great plugin. Let's eat up some peaks on this drum. I'm eating 5 dB of uh, a reduction in this case of peak on this drum and it's barely audible. So this plugin is really, really cool. You can watch the waveform if you want. Hard or hard or soft slider, definitely a must have, definitely a must have for $49. And I think there is a sale for this at the time of this video. Next one, cassette by Waves Factory. We've seen this in the Otis and Stranger plugin list, only $59. I don't know if this video will be posted before or after the oddest and strangest plugin, but I absolutely love this plugin. It's a lo-fi and it emulates a tape, the old tape cassettes. You have three modes from Pro, which is the more hi-fi to the more lo-fi, the micro. And you have all these different knobs here to introduce artifacts and sound like that. It's really interesting to color anything from audio tracks to effects. I particularly like the dark ones. I don't know why, but they're really, really cool. Cassette Waves Factory, only $59. Definitely get this one. Last but not least, basically all the reverb Valhalla makes. I have all of them. They are absolutely amazing. And these are my favorite. I have pretty much everything Valhalla makes, but uh, these are definitely my most used Valhalla Room, Valhalla Plate, Valhalla Vintage Verb, and Valhalla Shimmer, which I used on Bella's vocals, among other effects. But Vintage Verb is probably my go-to for pretty much any general purpose because it has a bunch of algorithms, Dirty Hall, which I absolutely love, the Smooth Plate, the Chaotic Chamber, Normal Plate, Room Chamber, and Space. Uh, the second would be Valhalla Plate. I really, really love Valhalla Plate. Even uh, for how weird it sounds to emulate rooms like real spaces. You can set it up to actually emulate real spaces and it sounds really cool. And all the modes, they sound so different that I think they are actually a good learning tool to understand the stereo field of a reverb. If you scroll through all the modes with the same setting with this plugin, it will tell you a lot of how a reverb feel you know, not only left and right and panning and width, but also depth 
front and back. These modes are a really good learning tool. Room is one of the best room simulator plugin out there for real spaces. And of course, Balala Shimmer might be my favorite because I don't know, there are other shimmer reverbs and I have other shimmer reverbs. This one to me, it just sounds better. Uh, it's super fun, super easy to use. It's got a bunch of different options for the pitch mode, single and dual reverse, which I don't think I've ever seen on any other shimmer reverb. Uh, the big stereo, which is my default, I usually start. Two color modes, bright and dark, is just really great. And all these, each one is just $50. They also have a bunch of free plugins, so definitely check out the website Valhalla Reverbs. Thumbs up. And I think this is it for this video. Let me know which are your most used cheap plugins in the comment down below. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Check all the links in the info box for the plugins that I listed, the remix contest. You can win a bunch of stuff. And if you want to up your mix and mastering game, become a Mix Plus TV member. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up.